Hello deep learners, welcome to tech for trick I am Shion and in this video we are going to see the easiest classification ever with artificial neural network. This video is purely dedicated to the beginners who are trying to get into artificial neural network. We are going to classify the IDS dataset with a simple artificial neural network. Before going to code, please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. So, let's get started. First, we are going to import these packages like NumPy, Keras and sklearn that is scikit-learn. We are importing sequential model from keras.models and dense layer from keras.layers. The IITS dataset is available in sklearn. So we are going to load that from scikit-learn or sklearn. So let's run this code. And let me just give you an idea about the dataset. There is no images of iris flowers. The dataset contains the sepal length, sepal width, petal length and petal width of iris flowers. And the dataset has 150 observations. In the last column it has the classes of iris flowers. There are three types of iris flowers that is iris setosa, iris versicolor and iris virginica. As we are loading the dataset from sklearn. So it is already pre-processed. Computer doesn't understand text like this. So it has 0, 1 and 2 as classes. Iris setosa as 0, Iris versicolor as 1 and Iris virginica as 2. Let's load the data with load iris function and we are storing it into data variable. Let me just print the data. As you can see, the data has three parts. The first one is data. The second one is target. Here is the target. And the third one is target names. The data contains the 150 attributes observations. The target contains the classes like 0, 1 and 2. And the target names contains the actual classes names of iris flowers that is setosa, versicolor and virginica all are in one dimensional. Now I am extracting and storing the data into x, y and z. Well we don't need z actually but I am going to use it to display the result in a good way. And if we print the features names it will display the attribute names and I am going to print the first observation as well. Let's print it. So for the first observation, the sepal length is 5.1 cm, sepal width is 3.5 cm, petal length is 1.4 cm and petal width is 0.2 cm. Now we are using the train test split function from model selection to split the dataset. X train and Y train will contain the training examples and X test and Y test will contain the test examples and we are splitting the data set with this test size 0.3 that means if we have 100 examples then the training part will have 70 examples and the test part will have 30 examples. Let's run this. These two lines will print the shape of our data. So the extent contains the 105 observations and X test contains the 45 observations. Let's build the model. We are using the sequential model and in the first layer it has 100 neurons or nodes and we are specifying the input step as 4 comma. Remember to use this comma when you have an input of one dimensional array. And we are using the daily activation functions or rectified linear unit function. That means if it gets any negative value, it will make it to zero. Else, it will pass the value as it is. In the next layer, we have only three neurons or nodes. And this is because of we have three classes. You may play with the input neurons here, but not with this one. 
If you don't know about activation functions, I highly recommend you to watch these videos. Let's run this. It is time to compile the model. I am using Adam Optimizer. You may use other optimizers like SGD that is Stochastic Gradient Descent. Okay, so do one thing. You have access to this Google Colab notebook. The link is in the description box below. So open that and change the optimizer to SGD and run the code and comment down below your accuracy. I am using sparse categorical cross entropy because we have multiple classes to identify. If we have one class to identify, then it will be binary cross entropy. And while training the model, I am going to track the accuracy. Let's run this. Before fitting the model, I want to remind you that the IRIS dataset has only 150 observations and we are using 105 observations to train the model. With such less amount of data, we might end up with underfitting. Let's see, let's train the model. And we have achieved 88% accuracy on our trained data. Let's evaluate the model on our test data. We have achieved 88% accuracy on our test data, which is very good. Let's predict the classes of first 10 observations. With this model.predict function, we can predict. Don't worry, these are the probability distributions. Neural network deals in probability. Let me just pass this to the argmax function from NumPy. And I am going to print the actual classes as well. Let's print it. So here is our predicted class and this one is our actual class. As you can see, this one it has predicted is as 2 but in our data set it is labeled as 1. A better view of the result is like this. Let's run this. So I am printing the predicted classes as well as their corresponding target names. So 2 represents Virginica, 1 represents Versicolor and 0 represents Setosa. So like this we can classify the iris dataset. I hope I was able to teach you how you can build a simple artificial neural network to classify iris dataset. If you learned something, please like this video. If you don't, give it a dislike and comment down how can I improve myself to make more great and free videos for you. That's it for today. In the next video, you will see another project. And thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, enjoy Neural Network.